Oh my goodness, folks, what is up? This is Michael on the Graveyard Shift, the one and only Graveyard Shift in the wee hours of the dead of night with your daily trivia question yet once again to get your brand new day started. Happy Friday, man. That's what I'm talking about. Look what day it is already. It's Friday. We made it. This week really flew by quickly. I think it did. Anyways, it was very productive. So there you go. Get ready to get through today and get to the weekend. All right. So the answer to the previous trivia question was what was known as the Watts Riots. This was 1965. Now, some 27 years before the 1992 riots that were sparked by the Rodney King beating, which kind of gets the lion's share of attention as far as, you know, uh, my, my and, you know, so, uh, some future generations go as far as riots in the Los Angeles area. That kind of gets the lion's share of attention and so forth. The Watts riots was 27 years before this time and is sometimes referred to also as the Watts Rebellion or the Watts Uprising. This took place in the Watts neighborhood of Los Angeles, California. And it began on August 11th of 1965, which is the focus of the trivia question. It lasted for five long days, resulted in 34 deaths, and saw over $40 million in property damage. It was the largest and costliest civil disturbance of that era at the time. Remember, this is the civil rights era. This is smack dab in the middle of the civil rights era. And by the by, I mentioned also a significant factor. It was the result of a rogue traffic stop, and I'll bring that point up later on in, the, in this narrative of the trivia question. And what has been referred to as the second, a little bit of history here was the second great migration period of the 1940s. A huge number of African Americans moved to the West to escape the Jim Crow South. And over time, this resulted in a 14% increase in the black population. I tend to think that that percentage is a little higher than that. that that's, that's 14% is what uh, surfaced in my research. That was between the 40s and the 60s. I, th I just think that's a higher percentage than that. But anyways, that's just me. So skip to the 60s, and even after historic and landmark federal civil rights legislation like I referenced before had been passed, what developed in places specifically like Los Angeles, as well as other parts of the United States, but also the focus here is Los Angeles, was obvious racial restrictive housing issues, sometimes not so obvious, very systemic, other racial and longstanding injustices, also spilled over into police brutality over time. And law enforcement in general, specifically in L.A., developed a very nasty and brutal reputation early on in the 60s. Uh, and this was basically a powder keg waiting to go off. Okay, so enter the mid-1960s in the Watts area on August 11th of 1965, which was a Wednesday Police stopped a 21-year-old male for suspicion of DUI. Chaos erupted from this stop and from this scene, and mobs began to form. By, f by that Friday, over 2,300 law enforcement and guardsmen were trying to get rioters and mob control uh, under control. By Saturday, now remember this is advancing very quickly now, by Saturday, over 16,000 law enforcement personnel had been mobilized from all over to patrol the city. Things escalated just that quickly. A 46-mile swath of Los Angeles had transformed into rioting, looting, and basically a combat zone during the ensuing six days. Now, and that, that's in a nutshell. I went over that really quickly, folks. The history, the incident, but this has been brewing uh, since the 1940s. Like I said, it was, it was, this it culminated into a powder keg waiting to go off. Uh, in addition to that, once the community unrest, the civil disturbance, and the rioting took place and was in full effect, mass arrest policies and very strict curfews were initiated, which in themselves resulted in thousands of arrests. Basically, basically if you were found on the street in your own area that you grew up in, uh, after after 8 p.m., I think it was, you, you were arrested. And this resulted, again, in thousands of arrests. By that Sunday, the riots had largely been quelled, uh, and this went on again for, this was the end of a six-day, uh, just brutal uh, rioting of that area. To sum it up, in six days, 34 deaths, 1,032 injuries, 3,438 arrests, and well over $40 million in damages. Uh, researchers, historians have, have summed it up as saying, quote, the whole point of the outbreak in Watts in 1965 was that it marked the first major rebellion with the express purpose of asserting 
that we would no longer quietly submit to the deprivation of slum life. Now, again, keep in mind, folks, this is 27 years prior to the 1992 riots. Uh, and this kind of community unrest and civil disturbance was going on everywhere, specifically in 1965, not just Watts, not just Los Angeles. There's documentation of the, the, the early to mid-60s in New Jersey, Chicago, New York. Oh, my phone's ringing. Sorry about that, folks. My phone was ringing, and I got a little interrupted there, but I am at work. So there you go. As I was saying, this – oh, hang on. Somebody's calling me on the radio. All right, folks, moving right along. <laughs> <laughs> Duty calls, always first. Uh, anyways, this was about 27 years prior to the 1992 riots that we all kind of grew up and are familiar with, when, uh, the, which was the result of the Rodney King beating and the acquittal of the police officers who did that. And this was basically like a blueprint, folks, an exact blueprint for what happened in 1992. It was very much predictable, and it spoke to great volumes about how things are still st systemic, things did not change as far as uh, racial injustices and police brutality. Ju history just repeated itself over and over and over again. And that is a perfect example, and it started with the Watts riot in 1965. A couple of geek factoids. Blockades, check this out. Blockades were established during the rioting by law enforcement officials, and warning signs were posted throughout the riot zones, threatening the use of deadly force. And the signs would actually read, turn left or get shot. That's, that's the way it was in 65 in Los Angeles when, when these kinds of riots took place. What was known as the McCone Commission was established to analyze the riots. They identified the root cause of the riots to be high employment, poor schools, related inferior living conditions that were endured by African Americans in the Watts area. That's taken straight out of the commission's report. Notice there's nothing there about police brutality. Of course not. No, they <laughs> didn't mention that. The, the uh, commission and its report made multiple recommendations for addressing these problems. And guess what, folks? They were never implemented. <laughs> Again, just contributing to the powder keg that went off 27 years later in 1992. Again, history just repeating itself. But that is the Watts Riots from 1965 in the Los Angeles area. Really interesting history. Really interesting to research. All right, folks, let's wrap up this week, shall we? Right here, right now. Brand new trivia question for August 12th. Check this out. See if you can get this on this day in 1955. U.S. President Eisenhower signs into law an amendment that had recently been passed by Congress that increased this from 75 cents to a dollar. Don't go for the obvious. Or maybe you should. Either way, folks, good luck and have a great Friday. A fantastic Friday and an even better weekend. Appreciate all of you. Get up and dance for me. I can see you dancing. I'm dancing too. It's all good. Peace out. <laughs>